guys and welcome back to another reaction video well not just a regular video we are going to be reacting to little nightmares 2 trailer boss and transmission and you know i wasn't even planning to make this kind of reaction video because some of them was for the fun that somebody in our last video commented i think his name was ignacio copa or I if I'm saying that right, if you're probably watching this video, I just want to thank you for that comment because it will keep me going in making this kind of videos. It gives me inspiration, insight, and motivation to do to give you entertainment. And now we're here, and now we're gonna be encountering here. I think this is gonna be covering like the area where we are going to encounter or going to face to face with the thin man or the guy in the TV. Ooh! I'm not gonna waste more time. Little nightmares to trail and loss of transmission, so yeah. You do go to the three TVs. The hospital. Though there's a demo about this, I never watched it yet, but I we will get to there. <gasps> I think that's the school I'm missing. The Hunter's Lodge. Hospital? Oh, we're going to the city though. We're not just gonna in encounter the monsters even the people wow maybe we're, we're we're gonna learn why they're going getting brainwashed for hypnotizing tps see you were in the city there we're just oh he's oh <laughs> he's disgusting his face using one of the faces of oh a kid not gonna fit them. <gasps> Is this how you teleport through TVs? Oh, there he is! Oh my god! Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, the kids. Okay. The door. What door is that? Ah! Uh, really? <gasps> he broke me a little bit! Whoa! So the game is going to be released in 11th of February. Oh, almost a Valentine's Day. That's cool. But ah, oh, bro. So we're not just going to the Hunter's Lodge. We're not just gonna encounter the relentless Hansons. Oh, sorry. And the school, which we're gonna encounter the teacher. And I think before the thin man or the guy in the TV. We're actually gonna encounter the people who are getting brainwashed. I don't know how, what's gonna be the interaction with these people or the residents of this city. Is it gonna be terrifying? Are they going after Mono or N6? Or are they just gonna keep watching TVs and let the terrible fate happen to them? And aside from Mono that wants to stop the signal tower, I've read like in this official Dian Dynamco description about the second game of Little Nightmares or Little Nightmares 2, they said that there's something that Six needs to go to the signal tower and like to stop her terrible fate. There's something bad that's gonna happen to Six and I think while they're doing this mission, Mono is gonna die. Like, yeah, you know. I agree with Game Beaver. I think Mono's gonna die at the end of the second game because I just get a feeling about it. Because if he, if this is going to be a prequel, because obviously you see the clip that, well, you know, like Six just wears the yellow raincoat. Because if he did survive, he would be or possibly could have been in this first game or the campaign of Six in the mall. But he wasn't. And I don't know what we're gonna be in encountering in this game. It seems like so open and so wide. It's like we're really into the city. We're really in an open world of this universe. We're encountering a lot of terrible creatures. We're facing the people of I don't know what. And you know, there's not only one trailer we're gonna be reacting to, we're gonna be reacting to another trailer which is actually released last Halloween that I just missed out. So let's get into that. Let's see another 
trailer for the Halloween that I just missed out. Oh. Oh! Is that a hanging man? Or is it the guy in the TV? Ouch. Oh, actually, that's cute. Oh, kitty bones. Oh. Mm. Again, the handsman's face were covered. What was that? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh no. Ah, oh, there's a kid. I'm guessing that's a doctor? You can see that. Oh, whoa. Whoa. What was that? What the? Are those mannequins or something? People, the doctor or oh, the thin man? And six get rubbed with the thin man. Okay. Okay. First off, I thought the sweet view of people that are watching TVs or being like hypnotizing TVs that we've seen in the last video were actually regular people, but they're not! They're... I don't know. Are they... Are those their faces? Really truly their faces or... It looks like a piece of cloth being covered at their face or are they just hollow-faced humanoids? Ah. That's so terrifying. The new guy, which is Mono. How did he get this ability to teleport through TVs, which is kind of cool yet weird? Because Six is just a regular girl or guy, I don't know, but only she said she's more nourished and very um, cannibalistic. I don't know. If this, this is the reason why I'm very much into this game or the this universe because i want to find out where did this um hunger of six come from and is it maybe he cannibalized mono that's the reason we died i don't know but oh and the thing yeah those people who are i don't know they're not Truly normal people, you, their face looks weird. It's hollowed face, or are they just being covered by cloth? And maybe the reason why, like, Mono is kind of like wearing a head bag is that because if they find out that you are human, you're dead. Literally. And somewhat in the previous trailer, we've seen that Mono is using like the face of a child, disguising himself as one of those students of the teacher. The question I really want to ask is that why does a teacher that is not really a teacher but I should say a monster would teach children that aren't real children children sorry um yeah they're like clay pots or like figurines and once you crack their head up a black smoke will come up, or are those souls? And I don't know. And you can see that there's in the hospital where Mono putting a flashlight on on someone or like a kid or something like a kid that is like in a holographic state. I don't know, but that's so cool. Cause oh my god, there's a lot of questions and like. Waiting to be answered. You know, every time we solve this mystery of this universe, the more questions will emerge. And I don't know, maybe in February 11th, when Gaming Weaver is gonna cover the game, I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna make a reaction with it, which is what I did to the last video. And thank you so much, guys, for bearing with me. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to like subscribe and press the notification button for more following videos and to be updated for more fun contents and i'll see you next time bye